Whoa, and welcome back everybody. I guess you didn't expect me to come up with that now, but I do. So, let's continue with some design and wings and ideas. I started off sketching something on paper. Green was the color of choice and some accents in red would be nice too. Then it was time to mark it up on the wings. In order to make an exact shape to the other wing, I did cut some foam to make it happen. First I put the green on the wing parts then later on the yellow ones. And finally it was time for the red parts, the accents. And they look awesome. I hope you like it. I do. After having assembled the complete wing, this is how they look like. Next up is to prepare the fuselage for the electronics and all the wires. It's certainly a wise decision to do this before you glue the side walls on. As you can see, I drilled out some channels for wires like power and antenna. Also, keep in mind that you will have to do some channels for wires coming out of the wing and entering into the back section of the fuselage. This water gun is going to be a heavy one. So, a heavy one requires a heavy battery just to fix the nose and keep the COG. Make your mind about how to place the battery and how to keep it where it should be. I don't know if this will be the best solution, but perhaps you'll find a better one. For me, this will work for now. And now let's head over to the nose section. As you can see, I've embedded my action cam into the nose without cutting the nose off like all your others did. And sure, it was some work. But you see, my action cam won't go nowhere in case of a crash. And speaking of, I did some reinforcements on the bottom of the fuselage. The bottom of the fuselage will be the point where you always will land on, hopefully. So I went for some glassing and uh, well you can see this worked out pretty good. It got smooth, tough and uh, still in shape. Well I did apply two layers of glass and some water based varnish instead of epoxy. It's a bit of a patchwork but it works out pretty well and stiffens all up. Hashtag black wings matter. So I spray camped this one black. Of course I did. What else should I do? <laughs> Time to put the wings on. I cut out the coating where the glue should be applied and got the wings on. Ah, and don't forget to sand those parts, that's important. And suddenly it began to look like a water gaunt. Good morning lads! Let me send out some greetings! And power it up. Ah. <laughs> Guess it's ready, huh? Almost. But the weather outside was crap and everybody else seemed not to have this problem. So the water gun kept in the shop for a long, long time. And then one day, it was the time to put a problem. We had some trouble finding the right point for the COG to balance out. But then again, my wingman managed to toss me into the air and I managed to fly the water gun for the first time. And land her more or less safely. Hey! Well, okay. Motormon broke, but that's a minor problem. Well, this is a quite new story for us and we don't know where we end up. But if you subscribe to our channel and join us, we'll figure it out together. See you next time. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button. That would be awesome.